pressure. So, so we'd like to congratulate all the teams making it to the grand final. So for opening government, we have at you B. For opening opposition, at you A. For closing government, at you C. And for closing opposition, USI HST. <laughs> Judging the final panel are Jake as me as chair. With me as panelists are Buena, I, Weston, and Burks. So with the motion, this house would criminalize attempts of parents to suppress their children's homosexuality. I now call on the Honorable Prime Minister to start this debate. In a conservative country like Philippines, Filipino people are still confined into that conventional view that homosexuality is detrimental to society. That can be justified in three points. First, when we, when in terms of profession, that's why parents sometimes repress their children's homosexuality. Because parents, especially fathers, when they're part of the military and their son or and their son or or somewhat revealing to be homosexual, they want to suppress that because what they want for their children is to become like them, to become part of the armed forces at the end of the day. Second, in terms of strong religious influences, that we see that there are still parents who are those traditionalists in which they want that religion they believe is still a factor in terms of homosexuality in the society, that they want their children to be straight, to be male at the end of the day because the because of such strong religious influences. But third, the social reaction, that these parents may fear that their neighbors or whatnot uh, tell to them that their child is gay or whatnot. So that social, rea social reaction is a negative impression. That's why more likely these parents tend to suppress or stop their children's homosexuality. But first, we consider the fact that these ch children and teens at one point in their life, they tend to question their identity. And that is beyond their control. They can even be in a, in a for them to reveal their sexual preference. So we see here that these children are really at that point of their life to begin their to question, to begin in questioning their sexual identity. So what's really wrong when these parents discourage their homosexual their children's homosexuality? We see that this oppression when it hinders the development of the children and when it doesn't fulfill the parental goals which will be discussed that fulfillment of parental goals will be, will be discussed by clear. So first on our solution to this problem, we see that criminalizing these attempts of parents will be the best solution. On our model is that we will give them these children the right to report to the authority once they once these parents attempt attempt to suppress, suppress the homosexuality. And we also see here that once the government uh, once the government became aware that there's really this happening of attacks, we see that the government can be can imprison these parents depending on the gravity of actions of these parents. Because we see that this suppression can be any form. That this suppression can happen into extreme cases like abusing their children in order to stop them, in order to stop their children's homosexuality. And it can even lead to a continuous harsh continue saying of harsh words which can lead even to emotional emotional trauma of these children. That's why it affects me their own emotional behavior. So we see here that there is only one parent which really tries to suppress. We see that that, that kind of parent will only be in prison. But if both parents try to suppress these children, we see that the government can protect these children through bringing them through bringing them to child care centers. And so there they can find their development, they can find their self-fulfillment in that day. Because we hear that, that homosexuality cannot, that revealing homosexuality cannot really be, it's really beyond the control of these children. But first on my argument, firstly, when sexual preference should not be 
interfere by what the parents want. Because we see here that these children become homosexuals, can in any point that they become homosexuals can even can even lead back to their genes or to their hormones, or it can even even lead back to their environment when they are young. So there are these children who are homosexual by nature. That it's something that they cannot. That is something unique for them. That's why they. It's hard for them to reveal such kind of identity. So we see here that the more that they are discouraged from revealing their identity, the more that they will experience the fear, the fear of rejection, the fear of unhappiness, the fear of unfulfillment because of what the society, or because of what the society uh, dictates them. Because we see here that these homosexuals, that in the Philippines, the cases of bullying to these homosexuals in the workplace or in the schools are still rampant, that when they are bullied, the more that they have this fear in them for the, this, no, the, the more that this, this fear is still is escalated in such a way that in such a way that it begins to the household that these parents already confine the, these children into one identity. So we see that it becomes very too dangerous in terms of the emotional behavior of these children because in the very first place that kind of suppression happened in the household in which it is the it is the avenue for, the, for these children to find their sexual identity or to discover themselves a kind of day. If all of that, if attacks of parents, uh, if attacks of suppression to homosexuality is present in all sectors of society, why do you have to limit it to parents? We want to limit it to parents because I, as I have said, that it becomes very too dangerous that these, if these children receive that kind of rejection or that kind of fear of being rejected from their very own parents because we see that parents as parents should fulfill their roles as, uh, as somewhat of a uh, somewhat of protecting their children in terms of protecting them from the fear of rejection that they will receive in the society. And it's not them who should reveal them in the act, who should not reject them in the act. So we say that that, reject, that that suppression can become very too dangerous, especially in the part of these children. But secondly, argument is on how these children, homosexual children, should find fulfillment as individuals. Because, because we see that that, that, kind of, that kind of suppression limit limit these individuals from this problem who they really are. Because in the very first place, we want to protect the identity of these children. Because these children are in the critical point in, the, in terms of the holistic development, in their holistic development. So we see that that suppression have adverse effects on their on the behaviors of these individuals. We see that once these children's homosexuality is suppressed, the more that the more that the children will perceive that their parents hinder the very, their very purpose as individuals, it can lead only into two things. That these children may rebel or may even, may even rebel against their parents because at their first place, these children attempts to, attempts to, attempts to, uh, for these children to come up. Or in turn, it can be, it can be that these children will keep themselves isolated and will keep themselves as isolated because of that fear of rejection in the end. So we see here that eventually that we do not we, when we do not want we do not want parents to suppress their children's homosexuality because we see that it can be very detrimental to the development of the children and it can but we also want to protect the value of right to self-determination. That these that these people, that these people, that these children have that right to fulfill themselves as individuals and that kind of sexual identity should not be confined in terms of in terms of these parents telling them that this is this should be their own, this should be their sexual identity. So what we want here is that we want only these parents to accept their children for they for who they really are. And that all thank you. I thank the Prime Minister. I now call on the Leader of Opposition. homosexuality, as I said earlier, is present in all sectors of society, meaning that it doesn't only come inside the family, 
but it also do talk, also does talk outside the family. We need to justify why they need to limit it to parents. But they've said that because, you know what, parents do not fulfill their roles because parents don't accept their children, they feel they don't belong. But even if they criminalize parents, we think that suppression to homosexuality are still present in their case and they're, they're not eradicating any problem at all. We think that suppression of homosexuality can still exist in society. Now, what's our burden in our side? We think that we need to defend why, even if there's an attempt of parents to suppress their children's homosexuality, that's still very important. There's an inherent, an inherent value in it. And we think that they didn't really characterize what kind of attempts are they. They didn't tell us if their attempts was just well, if, they're at the, if the attempts that you're talking about to criminalize are those attempts that hinder you to wear, to wear, um, to wear dresses which are for female, to go out and go to gay clubs and, and, and other things and what have you. They did 